Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to compute a transformation. So we've been analyzing this defaulting customer data, and there's another variable that we really haven't looked at yet, yet much, which is this down payment amount. Down payment is the amount of money that you have to put down when you join. So you know you're, you're going to have a membership. Maybe it costs you two thousand dollars. Maybe I put down a hundred dollars today. The remaining nineteen hundred, I'm going to I'm going to pay you each month for the next thirty six months. All right. So let's go make ourselves a histogram of this variable. So to do that, remember how we make a histogram. I'll make myself a new sheet. We'll go grab uh, down payment, just drop it in the middle. Then let's go up to show me and make yourself a histogram. And so what you're going to see is that we have a very right skew distribution. Um, you're going to see this first bar, which must be about width 250 or so. So um, almost all of your data, over 20,000 cases, put down less than you know $250 and then the distribution goes on forever out to like 10,000. All right, so this is not very efficient use of the graph space because you're using um, you know a tiny fraction of your graph space to show almost all the data and you're kind of using uh, most of your graph space to show a few outliers. So that's not very efficient use. Now as a general rule of thumb, whenever you have right skewed data, taking the log is a, is a good strategy. All right, so how can we take the log of this variable? Well, we're going to do something that we did in the last video. Uh, we're going to compute a new field. So let's go, remember how we do that. We just go click on this thing, and we want to create a, a calculated field. All right, and I'm going to call this new variable log down. And you know, if you don't know how to take logs, Tableau's really helpful. So let's see, we can use ln gives us natural logarithms. Logs, log gives you the um, base ten log, which is which is actually pretty nice. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, we're going to take the log of down payment. I'm going to add one. The reason I'm going to add one is that uh, there are some people who put zero dollars down and you can't take the log of zero. Um, Tableau will just melt down and, and say I can't, can't compute the log of zero. So if you add one, that avoids that problem. Now what happens is that all the values that were originally zero um, become ones and when you take the log of one, the log of one is zero in any base. Okay, so zeros stay zeros and that's a really nice thing. Alright, go hit OK. And then um, let's go make ourselves the histogram. So I'll go make myself another sheet. And you're going to see that there should be a new variable called log down. Here it is. We're just going to go drop that in, go hit the histogram button, and you are done. All right. So um, that's, that's really cool. Well, I'm going to do one more thing, which is to play a little bit with the um, number of you know, bins. So remember we had to do this last time too. The way we did it was just go up the variable. Let's see, here it is, down payment. Uh, we want to go to log down. Where's log down? Okay, since this is log down, uh, we want to edit it. And you're going to see the default bin size was about 0.11. Let's just make it much smaller. So let's just say 0 0.01 as an example. And now we have pretty much individual values. And what you're going to see is that, lost my cursor, my mouse. Um, you're going to see that log down um, of two has about 3,687 cases. Well, what's the inverse log of two? And if you think about it, it's actually uh, 100. So this is this represents the value 100. This is probably 150, and this is probably $50 down. Okay, so now you know how you can create a log in Tableau. 
Uh, and you also know that whenever you have a right skewed variable, uh, taking the log can help you make much more efficient use of the plot space.